Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. Let's just go ahead and continue playing here. Um, we're back at one of these locations where um, we were at in Bravely Default. Now we're in Bravely Second, and we're back, which is kind of cool to see these old locations. I'm happy to see them. And ho! And about time, if you ask me. Let's get moving. <sighs> Look, someone's collapsed on the floor. Are you okay? Uh, uh, the, the pain. Save your strength. Are you wounded? Why, we are... Oh, we are positively dying of hunger. Hunger? You can spare some food, yes. Some Inari sushi, perhaps. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm pretty sure I don't have any. Would a croissant do? He loves his croissants. Ah, oh, that is much better. You are a kind stranger. Ah, don't mention it. If I may ask, who are you? Ah, oh, but we have neglected to introduce ourselves. You have the honor of meeting Yoko. Princess of Unohana, land of hot springs. Princess? What's a princess doing in a place like this? Some days ago, our Anisama, our dear brother, set off on a journey. Though he promised to return shortly, we have seen neither hide nor hair of him since. We simply could not bear it any longer. So, you left in search of your brother? Correct. We had just come to these parts, when a giant castle emerged from the clouds. We knew not what it was, but it frightened us. And so we sought shelter here. A castle in the clouds? That must be the Skyhold! You are familiar with this Skyhold? We've chased it here from halfway across the world. Did you see where it went? We believe it was heading north. Toward Mount Karka. All right, let's go, everyone. Oh, but wait. What about Yoko? We can't just leave her here. You are travelers, yes? We would join you on your journey. Traveling with you, we just might find our Anisama. Surely you would not leave us alone <coughs> in this dreadful place with no food to fill our delicate tummy. We humbly request your aid. We shall not slow you down. So please do not make us beg. That's a tough one. You might be in more danger with us than on your own. <sighs> but we insist. Please, you. Pretty please. Um, sir, what do you say? I don't have the heart to leave her here. It shouldn't hurt to take her along, right? Just until she finds her brother? Yeah. Leaving her to fend for herself would be too cruel. If we run into any monsters or Imperials, we'll just have to protect her ourselves. Right. I guess we can do that. Welcome aboard, Yoko. Don't worry about a thing. We've got your back. We are most indebted to you for your kindness. Pray, lead the way. <clears throat> okay, let's do that. Yeah, I don't know if this is particularly a good idea, but hey. Going out in search of your brother all by yourself is quite impressive, Yoko. Why, yes. Yes, it is. If we do say so ourselves, you have our permission to praise us further. It's impressive, all right, but... Aren't your parents worried about you? <sighs> we are not a child. We are perfectly capable of taking care of ourselves. Mm hmm? That's not how it sounded when you were asking us to take you along. Uh, well, that that was that was merely an excuse. How little you understand us. The four of you looked so lonesome and helpless traveling by yourselves. We deigned to find a way to accompany you. <laughs> I guess you got us then. Oh well, the more the merrier, I say. Don't worry, Yoko. You don't have to hide your fears for our sake. 
Did you not hear a word we said? It, it was merely an act, a means to an end. You have angered your princess, you. Take this as your punishment. Ow! Wait, why me? Hm. Do not question your princess. Reflect well on your actions should you wish to gain our favor once more. Okay, fair enough. I guess we have to be careful. Okay, so we were here last game, like I said. I remember this, all of this, quite well. I guess we can just go back to the old shield, or the shield, late at night, the old bridge, and then there should be a town up here, right? Indeed. I guess not, gonna, not gonna let us into town, okay. I didn't think so, because usually you have to go to the bridge before you can go to the town. And the old mithril mines were over there. Yes, they are still there. Well, that's odd. I could have sworn I had more croissants in my bag. Don't look at me. Hmm? Well, we'll come off either. Hmm. Is it just me, or do her cheeks look a bit puffy? Come now, Yoko. There's no point in lying. You should apologize to you. Uh, our apologies, you. After going so long without food, our stomach was again rumbling and... <sighs> oh, don't worry about it. There's plenty for everyone. Just ask next time, okay? What a gracious and gentle soul you are. Your princess is quite taken with you. We would name you, Genialja, our Minister of the Right. Minister of the Right? Well, uh, thanks, I think. You are not content with your post? Well, the only greater honor will be to take you as our Prince Consort. Your husband? But uh, we've, we have only just met. Uh... If you are not opposed to the arrangement, then neither are we. We would much rather marry a fine young man of our choosing than some fusty old lord chosen for us by our dear father. Quite popular with the ladies, aren't we, you? C come on, Edia. I'm not good at this sort of thing. Looks to me like you're enjoying the attention. It's not very gentlemanly to lead a lady along. Perhaps you should tell her the truth. Hmm? Uh, Magnolia's scaring me. What should I do, sir? Now, now, everyone. Let's cut you some slack. He can't help being a bit of a blockhead sometimes. You'd know. All right, keep it moving, people. I was gonna say, Tiz was in this position last game, so... Yeah, you should know all about it. Eisenbridge. Oh, is that... Uh, we know that guy. Yeah, we saw him last game. Why, if it isn't Tiz and Idia, it's been some time. That it has, Commander Goodman. Tiz, we had heard grave news about you. It heartens me to see you well. Thank you, Commander. The feeling's mutual. This man is a friend of yours? Ah, forgive me for not properly introducing myself. I am Daniel Goodman, commander of the Eisenberg Army. An honor to meet you, Commander Goodman. I am Eugenie Olja, a knight of the Crystal Guard. Oh, the young lord of House Jenny Olja. Commander Goodman was a great friend and ally to us on our journey. We'd have been lost without him. It is I who should be saying those words to you. Why, not only did you help us resolve a bitter civil war, you even saved my own marriage. I know this entire nation is in your debt. Ah, oh, shucks, it was nothing, really. But I can't help but notice, are you fighting another war? I fear so. The Empire has struck swiftly and with great force. It's been all we can do to stay their advance. The Empire is struck here, too? With how many men? That's the thing. It's just... Commander! Incoming! Blast! 
beast! Here she comes! She? Little babies, show me what you got. What, you just gonna hole up in your shells like freaking turtles? Come on, fight like men. I'll not have my manhood insulted by this wench. I'm going in. Halt, the commander ordered us not to move an inch. Then what good are we doing sitting here? Come on, men, follow me. For Eisenberg! I guess you should have listened to your commander, huh? Once I've got you in my sights, boom, it's game over. Now come on, who else has got a death wish? Oh, what a positively dreadful woman. Aye, she's a fierce one, all right. I've seen many a sharpshooter in my day, but her lethal accuracy is second to none. Single-handedly, she's held my entire army at bay. But crossing this bridge is the only way for us to get to the Skyhold. All right, everyone. Let's go. Right. We can do this. You stay here, Yoko. It's too dangerous for you. Yes. We shall rally you to victory from here. Be strong. Be strong, our friends. Well, if it ain't you, Googly Moogly, and his three yutzes. How'd you like my little love tap from before, huh? Just my way of saying hi. Love tap? Oh, for crying... Do I have to spell it out for you? The bullet that smacked you in the arm. Hot from Eisenberg to Ansheim, just for you. You shot that all the way from here? You're finally getting it, aren't you? And now you're gonna get it, if you know what I mean. That's right, you got no shot against me. My darling told me as much, and my darling never lies. What's that? You wanna hear more about my darling before I ventilate ya? Well, my darling's just the handsomest, the smartest, and the sweetest darling there ever was. Actually, we don't really need to... Once I've filled you full of holes, he's gonna bake me a batch of his famous pancakes. So hot and fluffy and syrupy and... Oh, I'm weeping just thinking about it. But before that, let me murder ya. Who wants to bite it first? This doesn't look good. But don't soon! Are you okay? I think so. Thank you, Magnolia. Well now, look at these two all lovey-dovey. Lovey? No, no, you, you've got it all. Oh, oh, ain't you just the cutest? Friend of foe, there's nothing like seeing two sweethearts in love. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, but maybe you're wondering what happened to that bullet you dodged. Huh? Ah! Uh, Commander Goodman! Ha! Looks like I was on the mark after all. What's the matter? Never seen a bullet change directions in midair before? The things I can do with a gun will knock your socks off. <laughs> Well, what are you waiting for? Come and get me! For every bullet you dodge, you can say so long to one of your friends. We're no match for her. Retreat, everyone! Hang in there, Commander Goodman! Ah, the wound is deep. He needs treatment at once. Heart's child is just to the west. Let's carry him there. <clears throat> okay, so do we literally need to carry him, or how does this work?
I guess we can just assume he's with us right now. Fair enough. Alright, well now we're going to be able to actually go in the town, which is cool. Are they celebrating? Okay. So, this is Hart's child. It's already sundown. Hmm. It's awfully lively for this hour, don't you think? Is it not usually? Maybe people are enjoying themselves more now that the war is over. In any case, we need to hurry to Eleanor's. Eleanor? Commander Goodman's wife. They're both such kind people. They really took care of us last time we were here in Eisenberg. They sure did. And they're a real pair of swans, those two. Swans? Right. Swans are a waterfowl we have here in Luxendark. They're known for forming lifelong breeding pairs, so we often use them to describe a deeply devoted husband and wife. A pair of swans. How romantic. A wonderful explanation, sir. In reality, however, swans aren't so new. And that's enough from Tis and Use Birds of Luxendark. Commander Goodman, remember? Uh, right. Okay, but can we check out the stores before we go there is the real question. It looks like we can. Okay, well then I'm going to go ahead and do so. Looks like the inn is not currently open. Um, okay, grab cake from them. This is new. They've got an item shop over here. I don't... Let's buy five Phoenix Downs. I don't need anything else in particular. But what I'm curious in is let's check their... Is that the bad guy? Okay, no, it's not the bad guy. Okay, let's see what type of magic they have. <clears throat> so, let's, check. let's buy those two for sure. I'm not going to bother with the rest, though, because I really have no need for them. What about in here? This would be better. I might need four of these. Don't... don't... Buy three of those. Um... Flame rope. Ooh, that might be good. A little bensive, a little bensive, but what about this? Ooh. Let's buy four of those for sure, for sure. Ooh. That is cool. We must have unlocked that through the moon. Well, once we have enough money, I might buy that, but not yet. Not yet for sure. So we need four of these. We can only order three. Okay. Well, let's do this. Let's buy two. And, you know, let's just do that for now. I think we'll be fine. I don't I don't want to go overboard, so let's just go ahead and, um... There was something that I forgot during all that shopping. Well, I am once again out of money. But that is okay. And also what we should do is go to Magnolia and go here and we can put multitask on her. And I think we don't have anything else. What about for you? Anything for the bishop? Nothing. Okay, perfect. Let's continue on. I'm, is there... I don't think we can get anything from these vendors, right? Uh, okay. Let's go to Eleanor's then. Mrs. Goodman. If it isn't Tiz and Idia, how have you been, my dears? It's great to see you again, Eleanor. Tiz and I are fine, thank you, but... It's your husband. He's been wounded. Heavens! Here, bring him this way. Is Commander Goodman gonna be alright? He will be now, thanks to you. The doctor says you saved his life by bringing him back here so soon. With some bed rest, he should be fine. Now that's a relief. By the way, I know this isn't the best time to ask, but... Is something going on in Hart's Child? The town seems... different somehow. 
Why, it certainly should. It's Heartsfest season. A time for revelry that comes but once a year. At first, City Hall planned to cancel the festivities. What with the Imperial attack and all. But someone convinced them that the people needed something to lift their spirits. Now more than ever. Why, this generous fellow even offered to fund almost the entire festival. A festival? That does sound like fun. Yes, they've set up stalls all over town, with food and games and everything. But the real star this year is none other than the traveling confectioner who's sponsoring the event. They say his pastries are so heavenly that they can heal the wounds and hearts of our weary soldiers. We know who that How is. How you mention it? I think I heard people around town talking about cake. With that sort of reputation, his sweets must be something else indeed. Well then, why don't you go and have a taste for yourselves? To tell the truth, I had one of his cupcakes just before, and I can tell you this. You won't be disappointed. Did you hear that? Right behind you. Wonder if it's the same cook and that works with again. the... I'll let them have bang, their bang. fun. We've been fighting almost non-stop to get here. We could all use a little break. We are in complete agreement. Minister, your princess requires an escort to the festivities. Well, when you put it that way. All right, let's see what this festival is all about. Let's do it. Okay. What? Ooh, this is the cake man, right? That is the cake man. Why, this chocolate cake is absolutely divine. I bet it's not half as tasty as my apricot tart. Shows what you two know. None of those sweets are half as scrumptious as the man who made them. Talk about a honk. That must be the traveling confectioner everyone's talking about. Oh, I am just shivering in anticipation. Oh, customers. Welcome to Panettone's Fine Pastries. I am the proprietor, Angelo Ovio Panettone. Perhaps you've read the articles? I've come to share a taste of heaven with the people of this dreary town. A taste of heaven? I don't mean to brag. But my creations are no ordinary confections. They are like nothing that has ever been tasted before in this world. The first bite will send your heart soaring into the sky. The next will send your very soul to heaven. The most ultimately, sublimely, divinely delightful pastries I have ever tasted. That is an exact quote from a local food critic. We believe what this man is saying is that he is quite certain of his abilities. And with good reason. But don't take it from me. Just listen to these lovely ladies here. What do you say, ladies? My desserts are... To die for! My face... To die for! All together now. We're in heaven! Talk about passionate fans. Is he a pastry chef or a superstar? Well, there's no way I'm leaving without trying one for myself. Me too? Over here! One pastry for each of us! But of course, I just happen to have five remaining. One for us as well? How splendid. <gasps> Watch this! He's almost sold out! No way! I only got to eat one! Oh, give me one more! Oh, me too! Me too! Hey! Hands off! That one's mine! What? Oh, uh, if, if, if you'll just... The last two are mine! Anyone who wants them will have to pry them from my cold, dead hands! Uh... I guess we don't get any of them. I'm afraid I'm all sold out. You'll just have to come back next year. Sold out? Do you have any idea how much I was looking forward to that? Dommage. Now I'll never know what heaven tastes like. Don't get too down, you two. Look, there's plenty of other snacks and games to enjoy. Come on, Magnolia. You too, Idia. Oh, look! A shooting gallery! 
That looks like the perfect place to take out our stress and frustration. Darn shooting! Let's go have some fun! Oh, look at all these fish. Aren't they colorful? Care to try your hand at goldfish scooping? It's a cherished pastime of Unahana. Any goldfish you scoop are yours to keep. Give it a try. Come on, you. It looks like fun. All right. Hear me, goldfish. In the name of the Crystal Guard, you will be scooped. Ha ha ha! You and Magnolia sure seem to be enjoying themselves. We wouldn't want to get in the way, now would we? Let's check out some of the other games. Aw, but I wanted to try goldfish scooping too. As did we. It is not often we are able to partake in the diversions of commoners. <coughs> Look, you two. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Yow! Uh, all right! All right already! What is the meaning of this? Our kimono is made of the finest silk! Release our sleeve at once! Ugh! It's impossible, don't! Darn, you got away again. I've never been good at these games. Don't worry, you. I'll deliver the coup for the both of us. <laughs> you said it, Magnolia. Here comes our coup de gravy. Formidable! Look, I got him! Wow, how did you do that? Is this really your first time? It's simple, really. Look, it's all in the rest. All right, here comes my coup de gravy. Oh, but uh, you should try it first, sir. Huh? Where'd everyone go? That's curious. They must be around here somewhere. We should go find them. Wait! Huh? Come to think of it, this is the first time we've really been alone together, isn't it? It's kind of nice, don't you think? Just the two of us? Oh, of course, it's fine with me, but... This is kind of awkward. Like that time we shared an umbrella. Hmm? Did you say something? Uh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Come on, we have goldfish to scoop. All right. Show me your coup de gravy. Here we go. Easy now. Easy. Take care, you. Now, tilt your scooper ever so slightly. Then lead it gently along the water's surface. Empty your mind. Become the water. Like this? Oh, no. More like this. Here, let me... Huh? <gasps> Sorry. No, I'm sorry. Really, I am. L look, that game over there sure looks like fun, right? Y whatever it is. Right! Let's go try it out! Fair enough. It's kind of cute. Flowers! Flowers for sale! Won't you buy a freshly cut flower? Look, you! She's selling flowers! Flowers being sold on the street! Luxembourg truly is out of this world! Huh? You mean they don't sell flowers on the moon? Mais non! On the moon, flowers are rare and precious! They're not something to be bought or sold lightly! There you are! We were searching everywhere for you! It would appear our Minister of the Right is well aware of his lady's likings. Minister, we have taken a fancy to that orange blossom. You will procure it for us, yes? Yes. Why do I get the feeling you're not going to leave me alone until I do? For you, my princess. Qua? You have served your princess well, Minister. We are most pleased. And here, Magnolia. This blue one is for you. Wh wh 
What is the meaning of this? It's lovely, of course, but... How can you give two flowers to two girls at the same time? It makes no sense. Uh, it doesn't? When you give a flower to a lady, doesn't it... Doesn't it mean... You're asking for her hand in marriage? Well, the... Marriage? Well, wait, wait, wait a minute, Magnolia. There must be some sort of misunderstanding. You're... You're... You're, you're talking about on the moon, right? Dequoit du Pal! So, you mean... When we first met, that flower you gave me? You were unconscious, and I used it to revive you. This can't be! I... I see. <laughs> how silly of me, right? I mean, how could I ever think? I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't explain myself well enough. Don't be sorry, you. I should have known better. After all, who would... Oh, I'm such a fool. I'm gonna crawl into a deep, dark hole. J just so everyone is clear, this is not our fault. You are aware of this, yes? Look over there! If it isn't Tiz and Idia! Over here! Uh, here we are! Oh, Yoko! We've been looking all over for you! Why do I get the feeling I just walked in at the worst possible time? No, it's nothing. I wonder how Commander Goodman is doing. I'll go check. M wait, M Magnolia! Say, Yoko, uh, did something happen while we were gone? Just a fleeting misunderstanding, nothing more. <laughs> but how amusing. I think I shall not tire of you soon. Oh, back so soon? We just wanted to check in on Commander Goodman. How's he doing? Quite well, thank you. He's been resting comfortably in bed and just woke up not long ago. He even has his appetite back. I offered him some sweets from the festival and he wolfed down an entire cake. Great. Sounds like there's nothing to worry about. It's all thanks to you. Truly, I cannot begin to express my gratitude. As a small token of our thanks, won't you spend the night? It would be our pleasure to have you. Truly? The pleasure would be all ours. Good morning, everyone. Morning, you. I heard the story from Magnolia. Don't beat yourself up about it. I mean, even I didn't realize that she... you know. I know, but just thinking of what I put her through. Good morning, everyone. Oh, uh, good morning, Magnolia. You, I'm sorry about yesterday. Please, just forget about it. No, Magnolia, I should be the one... No, truly, it's fine. Really, I'm fine. <sighs> Morning, everyone. Shall we be off? Yes, let's. We should thank Eleanor once more before we take off. Eleanor, thanks again for your hospitality. We'll be going... Uh, huh. Does it seem strangely quiet in here? Eleanor? Eleanor! Uh, perhaps she's out. You! Something's not right here. Huh? Alright guys, we're going to leave off today's episode here. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and...